What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, I will try to make this video a short one. So I wanted to give my final thoughts and impressions on Super Robot Wars 30, which just came out a couple of days ago. It came out on the Switch and PS4 in Japan, and it came out on PC only here for the West. I know it's not as convenient because here in the West, we're losing out on two platforms, which means less choice for the consumer. But I think it's still great that we are getting Super Robot Wars 30 here officially in the West. It's very rare to get this franchise here. It is speculated mostly due to licensing problems. So I personally think this is still great. And at the same time, fans can show to Bandai Namco that, hey, there are people here in the West who are willing to buy Super Robot Wars. And please, Bandai, bring more mecha games here to the West. I think to cut to the chase, despite being a huge mecha fan, I think this game is amazing, fun, it features mechas and characters from different franchises, which where else would you be able to see this? I think I can easily recommend this game to any mecha fan unless you're not a fan of the chibi art style or not a fan of turn-based RPGs. I will go a bit in depth, but before I continue, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Super Robot Wars is a series of tactical role-playing games produced by Bandai Namco Entertainment. The first game came out in 1991, so this is a franchise with a lot of history. And Super Robot Wars 30 is a celebration of their 30th anniversary. Playing this game has been a blast since the game features many different franchises from older generation to modern ones. And at least for me, one of the things is I love how they keep certain cheesy aspects when it comes to the dialogue, especially from the older franchises. We believe in you, Power Joe. D I really, it's so hard, Dumpson. I have friends. Someone I can't lose. A person I have to protect. They show me that what's really important is a righteous heart. I was the fool for caring so much about my memories. So you put an act to enable the building to- Oh my god. It was all part of his plan. It's the least I can do. Not enough to make up for my crimes. You just can't help but grin when reading the dialogue. Plotwise, I really don't think this is like an amazing story or a grandiose adventure. You know, mostly you choose your protagonist which you can select between male and female you can name them and it's mostly you with a bunch of characters trying to figure out what evil counterparts of some of the franchises want to do at the same time you know your characters are like trying to achieve peace on earth at least for me i don't feel it's like that engaging maybe for you it will but for me i think what drives the game is the mechas characters and the gameplay. The game is a turn-based RPG, so the game is played by turns. Each mech has certain actions they can perform, ranging from movement to attack to providing support. Once you have moved all your mechs, you end your phase and that finishes your turn. Of course, you don't have to move all your mechs, I mean there's a lot of options you can do, mostly ending your phase it's up to you. But obviously once you do that, it starts your opponent's turn and you go back and forth with each other. One of the best aspects of the game is just the animation. When engaging with so many of the attacks, you just see you know, those animations and it just looks beautiful to watch. Get him. Nice. 
Oh shit! Nice re reference to Wing Gundam. Personally, I haven't gotten tired of watching them. I think another aspect is the soundtrack. Each mecha from their franchise, when you're attacking, you will hear a song from Messenger's theme to your own created character or protagonist's theme. Miss, 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 miss. I understand it's not a big deal, you know, to hear the soundtrack or maybe some people find it annoying, but for me, it's just adds so much and I can't help but get excited when I'm attacking with Koji and I just hear that amazing messenger theme. I just think the soundtrack adds a bit more to the excitement. Due to the variety of franchises in the game, you will be able to take control of so many different mechas and as you progress, more characters and more mechs will be added to your roster. You are able to upgrade the mechs and add special abilities to them that can grant you an edge or boost in battle. So by the end, you will be able to form your own squad of mechs and use whichever one you love the most. In my case, I love using the Great Messenger and Gridman. I have put quite the amount of hours in the game and I'm just having a lot of fun. So far, it's up there with one of my favorite RPGs this year. Also, it's been doing pretty well, at least in Steam, its reviews are very good. Which version should you get? In the end, I think, if you can, try to support the Western release, but of course, do whatever you feel is the best for you. Despite the game coming out on PS4 and Switch only in Japan, you can still get them with English sub. The digital version of the PS4 has English subs, for example, and of course, there's always the physical versions that you know you can find that says specifically if they have English subs. In my case, I am lucky due to my work to have some disposable income, so I ended up purchasing the PlayStation Japanese version digitally and also the PC version to support the Western release. I think you should do what is the best for you in the end. So if you don't have a PC, there's still ways to experience this game and with English subs. Like I said at the beginning of my video, I can easily recommend this game to any mecha fan. It's so much fun. You get to see so many different franchises together and you get to experience so many different interactions. You have never thought of like having Koji talking with Hyoma or even having Koji interacting with characters like Hibiki from SSS Gridman. Give a speech. Get that's why he's a Commodore. But big talkers don't tend to be good listeners. If he was wary about the other people's opinions, he'd never built the ship. The only way I would say you should stay away from this game is if you don't like tactical RPGs or if you're not a fan of the chibi designs. There's also a demo for the PS4 and Switch of the game. As far as I'm aware, I know the PS4 demo does have English subs, so if you're unsure, you can definitely try the demo. And it's a very lengthy demo that gives you an idea about how the game will feel and progress to see if it's something you will enjoy buying. In the end, I'm very happy with Super Robot Wars 30, love it, having so much fun. So what are your thoughts. This has been Oblivious Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.